Hey guys and welcome back to I Am Beautiful Hustler TV. Today I'll be doing a lace wig uh, part down the middle with baby hair bob. And today's hair is provided by um, Asher Mary Hair. They sent over this 14 inch um, blunt cut um, natural color bob. Uh, today I am going to install it on my client and I'm going to take that uh, bob cut just a little tad bit shorter. Now jumping straight into this video, um, I'm going to take my... Ruby Kisses foundation in level 11 and I'm going to use that lighter shade in there and begin to apply that on her ball cap and also on the inside of the lace wig as well. And then I'm going to go ahead and proceed with my uh, four layers of Beautiful Hustler lace mid adhesive. And of course I did clean the hairline with alcohol. You don't make sure um, you don't want to skip that step using my Beautiful Hustler's uh, lace prep alcohol spray. And you know, I did that whole step before I even did the ball cap. So of course her hairline is clean. And once you have everything molded down and the cap on, you can move on to what you see me doing now and then begin to add your glue, uh, your layers of glue and tack down your wig. Once again, I did use four layers of my lace mid adhesive to tack down her wig. And now I'm just going to go ahead and place this wig into place and have her hold each side. Now, this wig was perfect for her hairline because she had like a um, kind of like a small forehead um, hairline. And like the way the hairline on the wig was created, it was like the same way her natural hairline was. So this wig was actually perfect um, for her. So I'm just going to go ahead and take my blow dry on that heat setting and blow dry that lace in. Take my comb, blow dry that lace in some more and then begin to cut off the extra lace and tack down whatever else uh, needs to be glued. I'm going to go ahead and cut off the extra flaps around the ears and then I will proceed to tack down um, whatever, else is, whatever else is lifting and cut down. I mean not cut down but actually glue down you know whatever else needs to be glued.
started to do more frequently in my installs like instead of taking down um all the lace like if it does not need to be there i just go in close to where it's glued completely and just cut that extra lace off and that could also save you some product instead of you um you know gluing down unnecessary lace that's not really needed it's just best that you just cut that lace off but only if it's not needed like for example on this side she had more lace that could have covered more on the sides but it was not necessary so i just went ahead and cut that off and that will also leave you with less to tack down um you know once you cut as close to the hairline as possible So now that everything is tacked down, I'm just going to go ahead and part my hair, I mean part her hair down the center and also pull out the section for the baby hairs at the wax in preparation, you know, for the hot combing process. So I'm going to um, just go ahead and get all of that prepped up and then like I mentioned, pull down the baby hairs, um, pull the baby hair down as well. Also make sure you do part off the section in the back of the lace wig as well so you can cover the tracks up in the back and you know no tracks are showing because this is a lace front wig and then once I do that I'm gonna go ahead and go on with my uh, Tresemme holding spray and spray the hairline down and then go in and tie it down uh, with my melt belt so we can get that lace super super melted and tacked down.
Sakari. While that melt belt sat for 10 minutes, I just went ahead and straightened the hair out on this wig some more. And now I'm going to go ahead and remove that melt belt. And as you can see, her lace is super uh, melted into her skin, giving very much scalp tease. And I'm just combing out, you know, that holding spray. Um, the baby hair section that I end up pulling down, I end up pulling out more after I swoop like the first two baby hairs. So you guys will see um, what I pulled down. But in the meantime, right now, I'm just going to go ahead and comb that holding spray out so it's nice and soft. And then I'm going to go ahead and begin to do my baby hair, chopping it down uh, using holding spray and that motion is mousse. And yeah, once I do the baby hair, I will go ahead and um, tie it down again. But I will apply mousse all over that hairline and then tie it down with my black uh, wrapping paper and let that dry. And while that's drying, I will begin to cut um, and you know style the bob So as you can see, I use mostly holding spray for the baby hair, but I do use mousse um, on and off when I feel like it's needed to like, you know, lay something extra down or get a little extra swooping going on. So basically the same thing I did to this side, I'm going to repeat the same steps to the other side as well.
now that the baby hair is all molded down, I'm just gonna go in one more time and just take mousse and apply it all over the hairline. And this just is to soften it up, you know, and just make sure everything is molded to perfection. And then I'm gonna go on with some black wrapping paper and I'm um, using two strips of that wrapping paper, uh, tie that hairline down and I will begin to cut the bob. With cutting my bobs, I just start um, usually with the right side of the head and get like my guideline of how short I want it to be. And then I just um, cut all around and just make um, the rest of the bob match up with that guideline cut. And, you know, you can use clippers, scissors, you know, whichever works best for you. Some people might want to razor it first and then cut it even. It's just your preference. But for these blunt bobs like this, I just like to go in with some good, you know, fresh scissors shears whatever you want to call them and i just go to work and i don't really have a good eye when it comes to things like this i like to kind of bend down sometimes and get really eye level um with the wig you know or even you know i pump my chair all the way up to the highest so i can really see what i'm doing and you know i am going pretty quickly because i'm so used to doing this but if you are beginner just take your time do not rush you want to get that cut as precise and as straight as possible and just continue to follow that guideline all the way around now that I have majority of the bob cut um, the bob cuts what I like to do is start from the other side of the front and then make uh, you know kind of make the cut meet with each other and that's how I kind of like make sure that it is even on both sides and I just like to go to the front and, you know I step back and really analyze and see if I have to you know both sides even and if not I just go back in and correct the cut um, it's usually just probably like not that much off because if you just follow your guideline it should be pretty much about even but i just like to go back in from the front and just make sure i catch any hairs that can stop this bob from being even and now that that's done i'm gonna go ahead and just take my blow dry quickly and blow dry on that hairline some more and, you know just blowing off the extra hair that was on her and i'm gonna go ahead and cut that um you know black paper off comb out that hairline and begin to bump the wig
And as I always mention, when you are flattening your bob, you just want to lightly bump in. You don't want to over bump it where it's too, you know, hard or curled under too hard. So I just lightly give the bob a curl towards the ends. And then the last thing I would do is go ahead and, you know, black spray and conceal up this part. And, you know, that would pretty much touch up the tutorial, you know, finish tutorial as far as the styling and everything like that. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Continue to watch and stay tuned for the finishing results. Shikari. Her bob is sleek and it is complete and it is cut baby hairs are laid and I'm just going to spin her around so you guys can see uh, the finishing results all around uh, thank you guys for tuning in to my channel don't forget to subscribe let me know what you think down below on this look and see you guys on the next tutorial